Hi, I'm Randy Brandoff with TIA Ventures, and today I want to talk about entrepreneurial leadership in the 2020s. The fundamentals of leadership, integrity, ability to delegate, learning agility, influence, have probably not changed that much in a number of decades. However, in the past year, I've seen multiple examples of young entrepreneurial leaders addressing incredibly fraught situations directly with their team, speaking about how it was affecting them emotionally, and then posting all of this on their social media accounts, and fundamentally diffusing these situations and handling them as well as anyone could. Now in my career as an entrepreneurial leader myself and working with some incredibly notable and successful leaders, it occurred to me that none of the folks I worked with were apt to have handled these situations similarly, nor would they probably have handled them as effectively. These new leaders demonstrated high emotional intelligence and social consciousness with a very strong moral compass. While leadership fundamentals may not have changed, it made me think, are the entrepreneurial demands and expectations of leaders in entrepreneurial organizations today fundamentally different? Well, for starters, the workforce has changed. Today's startups employ social media natives, folks who work, learn, communicate, and prioritize differently than previous generations. With such an evolving team makeup, can today's entrepreneurial leaders expect their teams to keep their work and social lives separate? Well, ignoring the impracticality of that in a 24-7 work-from-home environment, is it really still possible in a world where, you know, you might have to log on to LinkedIn, to Twitter, to Clubhouse, and numerous other social sites for professional reasons, let alone personal desires? When politics is seemingly omnipresent, and individuals, organizations, and companies are perceived through red and blue lenses, when is it safe for a leader to share their perspective? As we are all more conscious of our physical well-being, our sleep patterns, our mental health, is it still frowned upon for leaders to share what's going on with them personally? Have we reached a point where showing weakness can actually be a demonstration of strength and build the bomb with your team? As investors, we focus on things like product market fit, CAC, customer satisfaction, growth rates, capital efficiency. As leaders, you're under tremendous pressure to scale your teams, scale your brand, scale your product and top line growth, to stay ahead of capitalization requirements and to manage investors. I think I'm arguing while all of these areas of focus and attention are valid, it's time to identify and appreciate these evolving new leadership skills and perhaps to agree upon some new ground rules. Because while the details on the future of work remain the subject of much debate, it is inarguable that the needs and expectations of today's entrepreneurial leaders are never going back to the way it was. Thank you very much. Until next time.